Y'all got me working overtime in this robe now. Megan Nicole Kanka was SA'd in 1994. She was a seven year old girl, was SA'd by Jesse Timodakis. It was a neighbor who had moved next door to them and unbeknownst to Richard Kanka, which is Meg, Megan's father, the seven year old girl's father, they didn't have any information about he was a you know a person who going around who or who goes around saying people and stuff like that no one had any information about this and so it's unfortunate and it is sad that this happens at every day and people just don't know who is living next door to them who are their neighbors so after this happened um it's a federal law now it's called the megan's law which criminals or sex offenders cannot go unnoticed they have to check in and check in with the queen hopefully but anyway they have to check in wherever they're moving to wherever state they're in or their their their, their record has to be public so people can know that they are accused of these offenses have committed these offenses will do these offenses will be repeat offenders and stuff like that so they have to it has to be uh public their information there has to be public so meg the stallion had made reference to megan's law in her rap and it was directed towards the incident that happened with you know per se personally with the child it wasn't directed towards the child but it, it's a law she was referring to the law saying you hoes ain't mad at megan you hoes are mad at megan's law because and she was referencing it to Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj allegedly married a sex offender. And meaning that he could have possibly, allegedly offended by having sex with a minor. But um, that's, I don't know, we don't know that. So that got Nicki Minaj, stir, you know, stirred up. But what even got her more so stirred up is her brother is alleged to have been doing the same offenses. That's what got Nicki Minaj really frantic and going irate. I don't, I'm not taking sides on neither one of them. I love them both, child. They ain't did nothing to me, but I love them. Uh, and that's what got Nicki Minaj really up. Those bars that Megan put down, it hit home. And I don't know who constructed it or whatever, but they were, they're out there. Let me let me get up because they they coming through with the noise. Now, Nikki, you know, rep, Nikki purported and reported that Meg had did some foul shit and lied on her baby mama and all that kind of stuff. I mean, lied on her dead mama. And shout out to um anybody with a deceased mother who has lost their mother. My heart goes out to them because I know the feeling. Um, shout out to Meg. I know the feeling. You know, some people aren't that close to their mother, but I was very close to mine. Now, um, Richard Kanka was seeking some type of legal action because it was in poor taste in his mind for you to rap and use Megan, his daughter's name. But she really wasn't in that in that case, in that scenario, it's going to be hard because artists usually have a lot of creative, um, you know, creative control and stuff of their music and they call it art you know when they reference things or say things they call it art you know they don't you know it's, it, it is what it is and Meg more than likely is not going to um, have any legal actions thrown against her for using her art um, another thing Meg um, Monique Slaughter had jumped into the comments and went crazy Monique Slaughter you know, had reminded the dad or tried to remind the dad on social media that it's uh, slander for her to be using Megan's law in that manner and stuff like that. I think the dad is more so upset is they used them. They didn't talk about Megan's law, the news and everything else. It's more, more synonymous with rap and rap is supposed to be raunchy and disrespectful and this and that and the third. But I don't think the dad has a case right now. They are trying to find a case. They're trying to find something, make up something, but it's going to be hard. He's going to be hard pressed. Shout out to Richard Kanka. We, um, you know, we send in condolences for your loss. You know what I'm saying? And may the Kanka family find peace.
But, you know, that's just the breakdown. If y'all want to find out more, y'all can read about it. Because y'all know they say if you want to hide something from um, black people, put it in a book. <laughs> y'all can read about it. But that's just the gist of it. Meg ain't going to be doing no, no 30 years behind bars or, or stuff like that. Meg ain't going to be doing no time. Ain't going to get no trouble. But, you know, her and Nikki is going at it. And um, they're both using it. We both using the dead. Y'all don't play, don't dig up the dead. And don't play with the dead. But, you know, I hope everybody find peace in this situation. And I like the rap beef. Um, Nicki Minaj, let me write for you. Meg, let me write for you. I'm, I'm a great, I can, I can come up with some, some hellified, bona fide, certified beats. And things of that nature. And y'all, y'all check the, uh, check out your neighbors and stuff like that when people are moving next door to you. Check on the um, public registries and stuff like that. Because... You don't know who 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 living next, who moving next to you, and watch your kids. Hide your wife and hide your kids. Sometimes it may help you. Okay, it's, this video has last went too long. I hope peace for everybody, but I um I need some good music coming out for both sisters, and y'all need to call me so I can write for y'all, and and things of that nature. And oh, and yeah, um Jesse um Timidakis, um he was on he was on death row. They was gonna kill him. But in the state, the laws changed, so he got life. He got to serve his life sentence behind bars instead of going, you know, doing under others, as others do under him and all that kind of stuff. They, they, they gave him life instead of the death penalty because the laws have changed. But God bless y'all. I see you looking. This video has went too long. It's ever more news. Y'all be keeping me working overtime, and I love it. Let me get up here and wash my face and clean my mummy. Yeah, okay, baby. I love y'all. Bye-bye.